Today we're talking about warm-ups, the best part of the day because it's that time when you can get out of your head and into your body and start testing out what feels awesome. A great way to get started is with a bounce. Feel your shoulder blades bounce up and down on your back. And you can also get into some swings, spirals through the spinal column as the arms crash into the body. The shaking is pretty powerful work. It encourages circulation throughout the body and it releases the body of tension. It takes practice to actually really release the tension through the body. So have at it. At first you might just want to stand still and tall as you try to let everything shake off of the skeletal system. Your muscles and your skin is just shaking off of your bones. It can feel quite amazing. And you can even get into your internal organs, shake them up and create some great circulation down there. And once you get a little bit skilled at bouncing while standing still and straight and vertical, try shaking things up, moving the body about, shaking the body around as you maintain a quick bounce, bouncing from the ground up. Focus on throwing away that tension and literally shake yourself free of tension for anywhere from 20 seconds to five minutes. Now here we're getting into a nice coordination drill where we're swinging the arms. I have a video on this one. It's a fun drill that requires quite a bit of rotation through the spinal column, through the thoracic spine. Try to take about five minutes out of your day to start exploring what feels great as you move your body through space. It really only requires a small bit of space, either in your home or somewhere outdoors in nature and try to explore what feels great. And if you're enjoying yourself, then keep going. You can warm up in this way for five minutes, 10, 20, or you might even end up doing an entire workout session just playing around and exploring what feels really juicy to the body. Here we have rotations of the pelvis, working its way up to rotations of the breastbone or through the shoulder girdle then through the head and neck, and then working your way back down through the shoulder girdle while holding the pelvis still, and then circling through the pelvis while attempting to hold the shoulder girdle still. And I do have another video on this one on my channel. These I call transverse spinal waves. You can check that out. Another great drill that feels amazing is letting your eyes explore all of the space around you and move your spine as you do so. I call that one free your spine. <laughs> now as you get more and more skilled in your movement practice, you'll attempt to make your movements even more graceful, more skilled and try to create more of a flow throughout your warm-up and throughout your workout so it looks pretty. At first that might be quite challenging, but over time, allow that to be your goal. It's a nice way to enjoy the journey of your movement practice. And what's so important about a movement practice is that it frees your mind for a period of time throughout each and every day. It allows us to get out of our head and into our body. And getting out of our head for a little bit of time each day, it might just be that thing that saves us. I find a movement practice is most beneficial for my mind and my soul and then my body. <laughs> Here I have spinal waves moving into a forward bend like a good morning which I do have another video on into a back bend and this drill is so great for warming up the body getting the spine prepared for a little bit of movement so throughout your warm-up you can think of it as a time to wake up and move a time to wake up the body 
and free the mind for a little bit of time and get moving. It's a great time to think of moving, training, playing, exploring, and flowing. It's a time for you to control your body. Also explore the body. Also connect with the body. Another great part of a warm-up is to make contact with the ground with parts of your body other than your feet. And a great place to start is with the hands. And you can simply start by exploring all of the different positions you can get into when both your hands and feet are on the ground, when perhaps only your hands are on the ground, if you have that skill. Perhaps one hand, two feet, two feet, one hand. Explore all of the many combinations that are out there. Make it a game. Make it something challenging. Let your mind work on something other than your to-do list. A little bit of coordination and a little bit of balance, a little bit of mobility, those are all great things to combine in a wake up and move session, in your warm up, which may turn into your entire workout for the day. By the way, I'm not one to say workout, I don't really like the term. I'd rather call it my playtime. It's time for us to get out and play. It's time for us to enjoy all of the things that our body can do and explore it, challenge it, and gradually improve on it and enjoy the journey. It's the best part. Here we have some teacups. Teacups you can start off just simply very basic one arm at a time holding the body still. As you get more and more advanced we try to change position, find the flow with teacups. And again I do have a beginner's video for how to perform teacups. And then once you're really starting to feel the flow, feel like you're in the zone, throw in some of your skills that you're practicing, that you're working on at the moment. Maybe just one here and there, just to see how it's feeling on any given day. For me, I like to throw in a handstand, a cartwheel, something in the gymnastics realm. And this drill, as silly as it looks, it's pretty powerful for the posterior chain to bounce while in that wide straddle leg crab position. Whew, it's a doozy. And here we are back to some snake-like moves. I like to think of myself as a snake and I like to take on the characteristics and properties that a snake would take on sometimes as I move myself through space. And you can notice by the imprint that I leave in the sand actually how very little space I'm taking up. So if you only have a little bit of space in your home, your backyard, that's really all you need. All right, guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this little wake up and move session. I hope it inspires you to get out and move your body in space. And if you're looking for a little more guidance on how to get into your movement practice, please do check out my Patreon. I've got three tiers there, something for everybody. If you're looking to get a cohesive and engaging guide through my channel and through natural fitness and your own movement practice, that's where you want to be. Please do check it out. I'll put the link in the description box down below. Okay, until next time, keep moving naturally for life. Bye, guys.